Hello everyone and welcome back to BEILAB. Our previous video delved into how SAM excels in segmenting objects through manual clicks. Today, we're taking the SAM journey further as we explore the fascinating realm of automatic mask generation. Before we dive into this exciting tutorial, I recommend checking out our previous videos on SAM to grasp its full capabilities. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button and show your support by liking this video. Now, let's embark on the next phase of our SAM exploration. In the first cell of this notebook, we import the necessary packages, including SAM, NumPy, and Matplotlib. Now that we've set the stage with the foundational elements, let's smoothly transition into configuring the SAM model for automatic mask generation. In the next cell, the SAM underscore checkpoint, model underscore type and device are defined to specify the SAM model checkpoint file, model type, and computation device, respectively. The code then loads the SAM model using the specified type and checkpoint, moving it to the specified device. Finally, a mask generator is initialized with the loaded SAM mode. Next, this script reads an image from the specified file path using matplotlib's mrid function. The loaded image is then displayed using plt.mshow and plt.xtix and plt.yTix are used to remove the x-axis and y-axis ticks for a cleaner display. Finally, the plt.show is called to show the image plot. Here, the provided code defines a function show underscore ants for visualizing segmentation annotations. The function takes a list of segmentation annotations, ands, as input and visualizes them by sorting them based on area in descending order and overlaying colored masks on an image. In the next code snippet, a matplotlib plot is configured for displaying the original image alongside segmented objects. The plt.figure sets up a square sized figure. Subsequently, the original image is loaded and displayed on the plot using plt.mshow. The show underscore ants function is then called, overlaying masks onto the original image to visually represent segmented objects. Aesthetic adjustments are made with plt.axis off, removing axis labels for a cleaner presentation. Finally, the configured plot is shown using plt.show. Now, with a clear understanding of each step, let's move on to witness the automatic mask generation in action. As you can see, Sam efficiently segmented objects in the image, however, some objects may have been missed. Now we have a challenge for you. While Sam does a great job, it might miss a few details. Here's where you come in. Can you spot areas for improvement in the segmented image? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's refine Sam together. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Sam's automatic mask generation. If you enjoyed exploring the capabilities of SAM, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting content. If you have questions, suggestions, or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, drop them in the comments below. Also, you can find code examples on our GitHub page. Stay curious, stay engaged, and we'll see you in the next video.